The Happy Model Crux 35 is another entrant into what has been dubbed the Goldilocks segment Micros. In this review we're going to cover the specifications, flight time, performance and then wrap up with the good and the bad and the key points of difference for the Crux 35 in the market. When it comes to the buying options, there's either an analog or a DJI version. The analog version comes with the Cadexan camera, plus the new Open VTX OV303. The DJI version is the Cadex Vista with the Nebula Nano. Receiver options are either Express LRS or FR Sky, and both are built into the all-in-one through the SPI protocol. The Happy Model website says the ELRS version is actually meant to come with an SMD or ceramic antenna, except mine came with this flimsy T. Now the ELRS version is a different all-in-one to the FR Sky version. With the ELRS option you get the Crazy B F4SX1280 flight controller. This comes with the MPU6000 gyro, it's 20x20 20 20 mount and with a 12 amp BL Heli S ESC. The frame itself is a single bottom plate with both 20x20 20 20 and 25 and 25.5x25.5 mounting options. You have four aluminium standoffs to separate the top and the bottom plate with carbon camera mounts. Now you can only use a nano or 14mm camera, hence the Nebula Nano or the Cadex Ant. I actually converted mine to HD0 as part of testing for the new HD0 nano camera. The included TPU mounts are for a naked GoPro and there's also the STL files on the Happy Model website for the Insta360 Go, Cadex Peanut and also the DJI Action 2 camera. The motors are 1404 3500 kV, which is a little lower than the typical 3800 kV you will see on other 3.5 inch quads in the segment. Because of the lower kV, there is lower amp draw, hence why they can get away with a 12 amp ESC running on 4S. Yes, this is a 4S quad. Now, Happy Model do recommend a 750 milliamp hour battery. I flew mine on a 4S 850. The battery strap is a little overkill though, and I note mine didn't actually come with a battery pad, which I added myself. You'll also need batteries with an XT30 and not an XT60 connector. Okay, so we're out at the racetrack today with the Crux 35. The DVR that you're seeing here is from the HD0 Nano, which I put on the quad. It's not how it comes from Happy Model. It was fine with the usual flight crew and considering there's no races at the moment, this is just our little practice on a nice flying spot. And as you can see, the Crux 35 really is able to get through these gates. It's quite quick for a three and a half inch quad and it handles the maneuvers perfectly. Now, you might look at some of these maneuvers and think they're a bit choppy. That's more my absolute horrible flying rather than it is the Crux 35. This is really the fifth time that I've flown on gates uh, myself. So I'm starting to get used to that as well as all the different racing maneuvers. I do recommend if you are learning to fly gates, jump on the sim and spend some time there. That'll well and truly help you along the way. In terms of flight times, I was consistently getting six minutes it's a spirited flying as you can see here. The overall comment from most of the guys I was with is they couldn't actually believe I was still out there. We're out here enjoying the, the gates and getting in a lot of stick time which is really going to help improve your ability to fly. Now if you do think that you want to get into racing potentially starting with a micro like the three and a half inch Crux 35 is a good option. And that's because it's small, it's lightweight, you're gonna get a lot of flight time. I certainly put this through its paces and gave it quite the stress test over the course of the day to the point where I actually broke the frame. And I did suspect uh, earlier on that I had broken it. It's one of the great things about having two points of contact for the arm to the frame. So if one of them does break like it happened in this instance, you're still able to at least limp home. I was actually flying around for quite a bit without realizing it. We're gonna go into the analog flight with the Open VTX, and this was a little bit different to get used to, going from digital into analog. The Cadex Ant in this instance is holding up really well, and one of the key things to note with the Open VTX, it does come on low power until first arm, so you have to be mindful of that. I went into beta flight and turned that off. And you see that crash here, that's a battery eject, and I was actually cooked for the day after this. Now, let's talk about the good. I really like the overall concept of the Crux 35, how it flies, and the flight time both on a LiPo as well as a Lion pack. 
Increasing the up tilt on the camera gets you something that you can learn to fly gates on. Lowering that a little, you get more of a freestyle or cruiser quad. I'm not sold on the all-in-one, especially on the ELRS edition. I think the 12 amp ESC doesn't leave a lot of headroom for voltage spikes when you're turtle moding on 4S and when you have crashes. And since we're aiming at beginners, it does risk blowing the all-in-one. Then you have the JSTXH motor plugs for the motors and the board. Now, this is a contentious point because it's great that you don't have to solder to replace a motor and the Happy Model EX1404 motors are relatively cheap, but considering you may not be able to get your hands on a replacement motor, you're gonna to have to opt for another brand. And every other 1404 motor on the market doesn't actually come with plugs, so you're going to have to remove the plug from the board to be able to use any other motor. When I think about how it compares to every other quad in this segment, the Happy Model Crux 35 is the best all round 3.5 inch quad. You get great value for money, great flight performance, really easy to use, and most of all, something that you can learn to fly on and you can even fly at long range, you can fly freestyle, you can fly at racing and it is going to be great to learn on. I wanna know what you think, what the best three and a half inch quad is and why. Tell me in the comments below. Well, I'm Darren from Everything Micro FPV. Until next time, don't forget to send it.